All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we are bringing you another brand new offering from Spinnaker Watch Company. Very, very cool watch. Now, as you guys know, recently I've shown a lot of Spinnakers. I've shown the Croft. We looked at the Fluce Diver. Very cool watches. Now, this is a different, uh, different styled watch from them, different cushion case style, very reminiscent of Panerai style uh, cases and stuff like that, but a very beautifully done watch. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up here in front of the camera. We'll go ahead and take a look at it here. Now, guys, forgive me. I did just recently pick up a brand new camera or phone, which is what I'm filming this on now. And so if there's any discrepancies or anything like that, or I'm having trouble with focus, you guys know why. So, okay, taking a close look at the dial on this watch. This is the Spinnaker Hall. Absolutely beautiful watch from Spinnaker. Now, this watch uh, is available today. You can go to the website. I'll leave information down below where you can actually go to their website, express interest in this watch, and as soon as it's available for order, uh, which is on the 18th of May next week, you can actually, they'll send you an email and you can actually order this watch. Now, standard retail price on this watch is $225, but I'm going to leave a code down below, OFD30. You can use that to get 30% off in this watch, which will take it down to around $175. Very nice price on the watch. You can also use that code OFD30 over there at the website for pretty much any of the watches they have there that you guys like. So, all right, let's dive into this watch, guys. As you can see, like I said, cushion case style, beautifully done, amazingly nice dimensions on this watch. You're looking at a 42 millimeter case from side to side, wears very nicely, and that 42 is not too big. It sounds like it, but because of the overall dimensions, it wears so well. You're looking at just over 47 from lug tip to lug tip. And you're looking at slightly over 14 millimeters, I'll try to get that to focus there, of thickness here on this watch. As you guys can see there, it does have the decorated crown on the, on the uh, crown there. You got the little spinnaker sail there. Fully polished case on this watch. The only portions of the case that aren't polished are the tops of the lugs here and the actual bezel itself. So, but everything else on the case polished up very nicely. This watch, kind of like the last one I looked at, uh, I think that was the Croft, has this Fumi dial on it. Has this kind of a fade to dark as it goes out towards the outside of the dial there, lighter in the center. And the spy applied Spinnaker logo there at 12 o'clock, very nicely done. Down below you have the automatic and the 330 feet. Let's go ahead and move these hands so we can see that. Now as I pull that out and pop that, you guys can see what we're dealing with here is a <clears throat> Seiko NH35 movement on this watch. So it is hacking, hand winding. Go ahead and wind that thing up so it's sitting here in my office. Screw down crown, even with that 100 meters water resistance. So with the NH35 hacking, hand winding, 21,600 vibrations per hour, and you do get a date window over here at the 3 o'clock position. Very nice stick style hands on this. They are brushed on the outside edges and very nice super luminova used on this watch. Now it's a little tough to see here because it's very shallow, but this does have a sandwich dial on this watch. So basically you've got the main dial underneath and this one is on top, fully loomed all the way through there. I'll get a loom shot and a wrist shot at the end. Let's go ahead and flip this watch over and take a look at the back. Let me go ahead and grab a little towel here and wipe this off, a little, a little grimy there. So you guys can see the SP5059, that's the reference number on this watch, as is in the title. Water resistant to 100 meters. All stainless steel, this is all 316L stainless steel. Now as you guys can see on the display case back, they do have the Spinnaker logo painted on there. And underneath there you guys can see the familiar 24 joule NH35 movement for Seiko. Very, very nice movement. I've done an accuracy test. Accuracy test. I just kind of wore it. I don't use a machine or anything like that. I don't use my phone, but just kind of eyeballing it over the last couple of days. It's running about uh, plus four a day is what I'm getting out of this watch, plus four seconds. So that's just fine. Comes on this really nice uh, leather strap. They've always advertised these as a waterproof leather strap from Spinnaker. You can see the Spinnaker logo there. Stainless steel buckle with the engraved Spinnaker logo there on top. Nice stitching, and let's see here. Yeah, you guys can see it says water resistant leather. So basically it's just not supposed to soak up as much water as a standard leather strap would over time. 
So very nice watch. Let me go ahead and pause this and we'll get this on the wrist here, guys. All right, so there you guys go. That's on my seven inch wrist. And as you guys can see, even with a 42 millimeter case, which you might think might be big, it wears really great on my wrist. Super, super comfortable. Lays nice on the wrist. Now, I didn't mention it. This is a mineral uh, crystal on this watch, a dome mineral crystal. Now, I wish it was dome sapphire, uh, AR coating or something like that. But honestly, at $175 price point, hardened mineral crystal is nothing to balk at. I mean, it's pretty standard in the industry. Seiko's Hard Lex is basically a hardened mineral crystal. So very nice. I'll go ahead and dim the lights here and get a loom shot. One thing I want to point out to you guys before we do that real quick is back here in the background, I'm going to do a review on this watch tomorrow, guys. That's the newest of the Orient Tritons or the Orient Triton. And I'm really excited. Uh, I've got it off the brace and stuff. I've been wearing it a couple days and it's a great watch. We'll do a review of that. Let me kill the lights here and let's get a loom shot. This has great loom on it, the spinnaker. Okay, now this should be interesting. Low light, see how my new camera films in low light. I just got the new Samsung S9 Plus, so that's what I'm using to film with. My Samsung 5 is what I've always used. So, let's see how this works. All right, guys, so yeah, there's the there's the loom. Obviously, super, super bright loom on this piece. It's an absolutely beautiful watch. And that loom lasts all night. You guys can see a nice pip there on that second hand. Some of the best loom, honestly, I've seen from Spinnaker in a while. Very nice looking watch. This is the Spinnaker Hull, guys. Available now. You can get over there, put your name uh, and your email in for interest. They'll email you on the 18th when these are available to purchase. And you can get them picked up. Don't forget to use the discount code OFD30, OFD30 at checkout. And you'll get 30% off anything over there at the website. All right, guys, let me get the lights back up. All right, guys, so there it is, the Spinnaker Hull. A couple more housekeeping things I wanted to get out of the way, guys. I want to thank you guys. I just recently hit 4,000 subscribers. It's awesome. I want to thank you. So when I do a review of the, um, the Orient here, of the Triton, I'm going to actually announce a giveaway, and I'll be giving away the Guanxin uh, Moon Watch from Gearbest that I just reviewed. So stay tuned, guys. That's coming tomorrow on Friday. We'll get a review of the new Orient Triton. We'll be announcing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out the new Spinnaker Hull. Very cool watch. Very nice watch. Make sure to get over to the website and get your name down for interest in this watch. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom if you like the video. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.